Afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel. So this very quick video is video one of two that we're going to do this week for the new Alpine Navi Stick. They have just launched and if you can get your hands on one of these then fan dabby do because of the fact that this is going to transform your navigating world. And the reason I say that is it sounds a bit over dramatic. If you've got one of the new three digital media head units from Alpine and it'll only work with one of the three and that is the 705D 7 inch in dash receiver, the ILX F905 Halo 9 digital media uh, receiver and the F115D which is the 11 inch big brother of the Halo. You have to have one of those three and you need to have the new update. So when I say the new update, uh, we're just going to go into system, scroll up to about, and you must have this firmware. If you don't have this firmware, then this Navi stick is not going to work for you. So let's just go out of that menu. Let's go back to the main screen. In the Navi stick box, if you haven't seen it already, this is the KTX-NS01EU for Europe. You can go, I say all around the world, but this covers 42, 43 countries in the world and will allow you to have things like subscription for traffic, gives you park for night, and because it's dedicated motorhome uh, navigation as well, it means that you can set up profiles for your um, restrictions for low bridges, narrow roads, height, weight, length, etc. In the box, it's very simple. We've got rid of all the boring gubbins. You've just got the Navi stick. This is the Navi stick. It's basically a black cigar. And you pop the lid off like so and you can just plug it into the USB on the back of the Alpine. But you can't just plug it into the Apple CarPlay one, you must plug it into the existing charging one. And at the same time, you have to use this uh, adapter. So there we go, we've got the Alpine Navi stick like so, and you've got the little mini adapter, okay? And that what that does there is allows us to plug it in. So what I'm gonna do is, in the glove box on this particular motorhome that we're in at the moment, is the fly lead. This is the second USB lead that is normally used for charging for the Alpine. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna simply plug it in. And once you plug it in like so, this little baby then powers up and little blue light coming on there. Who doesn't like a nice fancy light? Now, flashing basically means that it's now initializing. So if Ryan then hones in on the main display, this new um, icon will appear if you set it up correctly. And when you touch that button, you've got two options. And those two options are your iGo navigation. So let's go out of there and out of there and out of there. Let's just go back to settings. So in settings, we're gonna do a quick run through. Uh, in here, you've got your navigation app automatic launch. That basically means when you plug it in, do you want it to automatically launch? Yes, you do, because why wouldn't you? The automatic launch, if you do select it, will ask you to do a reboot before you do that, so that we're not gonna do that. And then the LED lighting is very simple. If Ryan can look back on there, I'm going to select the LED lighting on the screen and that's all that does. So if you don't want it on, turn it off. If you do want it on, turn it on, it's up to you. Um, then very, very obvious, self-explanatory, you've got your language, uh, unless you're multilingual, you're gonna select UK, English, United Kingdom. And then you've got phone connect. So for instance, if you're using your phone as a Wi-Fi hotspot, you can connect it to uh, my hotspot on my iPhone or something similar. So if you have got Wi-Fi built into your motorhome or you're on a campsite, um, you can do updates and other bits and pieces like that because you can see motorhome retrofits and advanced in car tech on there. And then you've just got things like system information. So software version, um, your mapping version, and then the model of it. This is brand new. There are no map updates available for this as yet, but it does come with three years free map updates as soon as you buy it. So pretty handy too. 
Let's just go back to the iGo built-in navigation. We click the icon and you've got one of three questions that you're gonna say, don't ask again. Now, because this customer is waiting for his own handover, I won't hit the don't ask again. So allow iGo navigation to access this device's location. Yes. Allow iGo navigation to make and receive phone calls. Yes. And allow iGo to access photos, media and files on your device. Allow. To be honest, I don't know why you need any of that, but proof in the pudding, as we fit more and more of these, we'll have a play and do an in-depth working of it. If you've had a navigation system with Alpine, you're going to see this very familiar setup screen. We're on English UK. Select. This is no different to one of the systems that you'd normally buy and have fitted by us with built-in navigation. It's going through the usual mapping and load up feature. Okay, so the navigation's loaded up and we have to go through and accept all the bump as you would normally and then you can go in and set your configuration up. Um, we won't go into great massive detail on this video because I just want to show you this product in its simple working. We've chosen English UK and in here this is quite important so we always select time format of 24 hours, uh, weight metric ton, fuel consumption uh, miles per gallon UK, distance, miles and yards, um, and you can go in here, date, format, and other bits and pieces, but that's common sense, you don't really need to touch that. You can go in and set up your profiles, motorhome, small this is, three and a half ton, uh, navigation on road, and route planning fast, and finish. And there we go, we press the accept button, and there you've got your navigation. As I said at the beginning of the video, you can actually pay for a subscription um, for you to give you live traffic information. So this has been a video for Motorhome Retrofits. This is the new Alpine Navistick. If you want more information as to what this product does, what it works with, and all the other bits and pieces that you might want questions answered, then please get in touch with us. Don't forget to follow us on socials, and thank you for watching.